Hello! Today I'm looking at a new camera. It's an analogue camera. The analogue's not dead yet. It's from Cadex and it's the new version of the Retel and it's called the Cadex Retel Pro. The Retel and there was a Retel Mini and I think possibly a Retel 2 have been my favourite cameras uh, on analogue basically. Outstanding colour and very good night performance means that's the one I always try and put in the quads I want to fly a lot. So I'm quite interested in seeing what the Pro is like. I'm not sure what the, dis the differences are between previous versions and this version. A uh, quick look at the specs, it's got the normal stuff really. It's a uh, 1 and 1 8 inch sensor, 1500 TV lines, you can change it between NTC and PAL, you can have 16, 9 or 4 free depending on your goggles. It, got, it has a super WDR the wide dynamic range which probably is good and the minimum illumination is 0 0.00001 lux so night performance should be good and then it's got the normal uh, OSD board to change various settings in that got it in the box here I think this comes with um, a 2. Point, yeah 2.8 mil lens not as wide as I'd, I'd normally have if I'm honest but uh, let's see what it looks like in the box we've got the camera we've got the basic a uh, three prong plug there which uh, you can put in a voltage of 4.5 to 27 volts and then the two pins there are for the OSD board being Calyx they always give you the little OSD board a little joystick there and a, a push-in thing I'll show you these in a bit of close-up in a second and then you get a bunch of wires to connect it up you don't get a mounting uh, plate so you're, you'll have to hopefully have the right size there or have an adapter already that can do stuff but uh, let, let's get a close-up, let's connect this in and let's see what we get and then we'll think about putting on a quad. Right now, I'm not going outside to fly things because it's raining and awful and very cold, but we can at least do some tests to see how it works in the conditions we get. Right now it's very grey and it's it's mostly raining, which is probably not the right conditions, but we can at least, we can at least test it um, indoors, in daylight and at night to see what we get. So let's take a look. Okay, I've gone ahead and installed the camera in this quad. This is an old HDRC Batman 220, a quad I like to fly, but um, it had a pretty poor camera in it and it was always a bit fuzzy, so I thought I'll put this one in and see how it is. We've got um, this little anime guy I got from um, Akihabara. I have to confess, I'm not sure which anime it's from because I don't watch it. <laughs> but, but anyway, we've got a picture and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the OSD off on my um, controller so I can see what's going on. I'm hopefully recording this on the HD0 goggles, but I do know that the HD0 goggles can't change between PAL and NTSC, so I won't go through that bit. But what I'm aiming to do is basically just go through the menu and see what we have. So here we go, if I press, whoops, if I press the button, we go into an auto exposure exposure mode of globe, BRC globe, I don't know what that is, that's normal, and there's an advanced thing, there's a white balance that's set to auto, there's a day night image, it's EXT, auto, colour, I kind of like keeping it colour if I can, so it doesn't flick between, um, but I suppose I'll, I'll keep this attached Ooh. when I'm, um, checking that out and then I can change the different uh, different settings and see what difference it makes. But image enhance menu, that's all set to auto, that's fine. Video setting. At the moment you'll see it's set to PAL. It's set to 16.9. We can change that to 4.3. Uh, I'm going to keep it 16.9. DWR open, close. So obviously you want to open. And language. That is about it. There's not much to go through on that bit, so I'm going to do a, a save and exit. You see, I've got this fan running here, so apologies if there's noise from that. It's just trying to keep the um, VTX from overheating. If I turn the um, OSD back on, you can see I'm running at 25 milliwatts, trying to keep it as cool as possible. And on this particular quad, it does stick out a little bit, but not so much that we're going to hit it with the props. And what I'm just going to do is hold it up because inside my room as I am, there I am, we don't have very good lighting. And I know from testing out the walk style, sort of the non-pro camera, that things look very, very grainy if you haven't got a camera that understands low lighting. But if I look around here, 
I am getting pretty nice picture all round for inside. We'll do a bit more inside as well, just to see what happens uh, downstairs and stuff where it's even sort of darker. And then we'll try outside. Right now, it's peeing down with rain, so I can't go and check it in the regular daylight, overcast. But hopefully it'll clear up, we'll check that out and we'll check this out at night and go through the various things there. But there you go. That's it for Sardis. Looks a very good picture. I can't really say if it's different from the regular Rattel or the Rattel 2 or the Mini Rattel. But yeah, it looks very nice. So look forward to checking it in different conditions. Let's see how that goes. Well, would you look at that? It's super mild, especially February, about 16 degrees, I heard. I could have gone out today, but I was having to do other things like taking the dog to the vet and stuff. But anyway, a good chance to test this camera out in daylight conditions, record it on the, um, the goggles. Uh, see what's going on, do a bit of inside and then repeat at night time. Uh, let's give it a try, see what, uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so we are walking around in the garden. I don't know where we're going. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a little bit saturated, uh, I would say. The, the bricks are looking a little bit red. Where am I? That's no good. Turn it round. We go up to the sky. WDR. DLC. Globe. It's looking more natural on four, I would say. So here I am inside the house, and that's giving a pretty good picture actually. Not too noisy, to say it's not super thing in here, but uh, this camera is a little bit narrow from what I'm used to, that's why I'm finding it a bit weird. But yeah, the rest of it's looking pretty good. Okay, me back in voiceover mode again, just looking at this footage. There's actually something a little bit weird about the HD Zero goggles and the way they record an analog image. They don't seem to do anything but record sort of uh, for free. This is in 69, so what I'd actually have to do is stretch it out like this, which I will do for the rest of the footage, but it might look a bit weird because the other stuff is overlaid. That's going to look stretched out, but the, the actual image will look correct. So just to let you know I'm doing that. Depending on the goggles you have, it, it should be okay, although on Fat Sharks they always seem to record 640 by 480, even though it, it, you can have a widescreen natively set goggles, they still record at weird rates, so you have to do stuff with it. Okay, it's only about 7 p.m., but pretty dark out here. Up behind me is actually fairly light, because there's a street light there. But if I turn around there, where the rest of the garden is behind me, 
uh, we can see pretty much nothing. So let's see how the uh, the Rattel does. Okay, we are outside and we have got colour mode on. And boy, can you see a difference there? It's not amazing in colour mode, but let's see where I'm walking. Let's have a go. Some of the colours go a bit crazy. But this is <laughs> more than I can see. If I raise the goggles to see where I'm going, I can't see. So that is a very dark alley. And that is looking very bright. So let's change that. And this is black and white. Uh, black and white smears a little bit, however. Ooh. How are we looking there? Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of the smearing. I, I get these trails, which is not good. EXT. Is that, I don't know what EXT is for. What's the difference between that and colour? Auto. Colour. There we go. So. It is significantly better than what my eyes can see. If I raise my eyes up here I can barely see a thing so it's it's quite impressive there. Um, I'm just not liking the black and white leaving those trails. If I'm in a... just try it here because it's in a bit of a better area. But yeah you can kind of see them. It, I mean it's really good as a static image. But I just don't like... Um, the, the, what it leaves behind there, so no. I think we're going to have to go with this. Impressive, though, really impressive. Where am I? Where's my feet? Can't find my feet. Okay, he's back inside. Well, this is just part one of my test. Of course, I want to go out and fly this on this quad once the weather improves and uh, the field I fly in is not actually a lake, which it currently is. I'm not sure if I can say this is an improvement on the original Rattel. I just looked back at the footage I had there. I'll, I'll link a video up here. Um, and that was back like five years ago and that still looks pretty impressive. The the thing that's slightly wound me up about this one is the lens, the 2.8mm lens. I noticed when I was moving around it was it felt a bit shaky and that's because as it gets narrow and you move around it feels shakier. The, the previous one I've had is I've like had 2.1 as the maximum going to 1.8 or even 1.66 mil. This is 2.8 and it feels very compressed in the house. I'll have to see what it is like to fly. I can always swap it over with something. I wasn't sure just looking back at the footage if the stuff I was filming on the desk was slightly out of focus. There's, there's a fo focus ring there and that's like locked with a wheel but I can always mess around with that. Anyway, interesting. I'm looking forward to flying it. I'll wait till I can fly it properly to decide what my conclusions are. Um, the, the one the one thing I didn't like is, is black and white at night. Those sort of smeary images that are left don't look good. I would, I would use colour. Although I don't really fly at night, I get the feeling that I'd have enough light to see something in colour rather than sort of smears running past which don't look very good. Uh, the rest of it is making sure I can get a, a natural looking um, sort of colour in what I'm doing. I can mess around with more. Obviously I want to take this off when I fly with it, but there's possibly a bit more messing around to do to get it right. Anyway, part two will be coming up eventually as I've got a load of part twos to do because I haven't been flying for ages, but I hope to soon. Anyway, this has been so far the Cadex Rattel Pro, um, kindly supplied by Cadex and there will of course be links down below where you can check it out in the meantime. Hope that's been helpful and I will catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.